Today's trip is a day hike on the Grass Lake Trail in the Waterloo Rec area. It is an 11 mile loop through hardwood forests, wetlands, and agriculture. The trailhead, according to this map, is right here. However, that is right on the road, so I opted to start further north at a parking area right next to the trail. As you may have noticed, the Pines campground that I stayed at last summer during my first backpacking trip is along this trail. Okay, well, this is going to be my first day back on the trail. Um, yeah, some of it you might actually end up recognizing. It's part of part of the trail is what I did for my backpacking trip last week in or last year, sorry, in the Waterloo Rec area. This is a loop, supposed to be an 11 mile loop. Uh, takes part of that trail. Parts, like I said, you'll probably recognize. I'll pass right by the camp spot I was, and with that, um, let's actually get going. Well, I've made it here. Um, it took me some doing. This is really actually a hard parking lot to actually uh, find from the road when you're not just, you know, walking the trail. But I did do it and it took me a little longer than I expected. Um, yeah, and with that said though, I am ready. I found this, found this uh, particular loop using all trails. Should be should be interesting, hopefully, and hopefully it has all the uh, different uh, routes that, or trails that it says it has. Otherwise, it may end up being a really short one. Um, brought all the necessities I needed to do this just in case things like water. Well, not water's not just a case, but a first aid kit, knife. The likes and stuff like that. Oh, of course. I also got some um, sunblock and, of course, bug spray, which I need to actually kind of put on right now, and some trail mix. Yeah, well, with that said, I'll get right back to you when I'm all done. Well, I just had a bit, a bit of a setback while I was putting on my sunscreen. I kind of put it down on the seat, didn't think twice about it, sat down on it to get my boots on, and all of a sudden I heard it squirt right out the side, ended up getting it all over my car and bag. Um, I don't know what's up with me in sunscreen. I kid you not, just a few weeks ago I was over at Cedar Park, amusement park, an amusement park in Ohio, and I kid you not, I left the spray bottle of sunscreen open in my pack. And while, we're, while I was on the ride, it pressed and released all of it, killing my last phone. So I don't know what it is with me and sunscreen. But with that said, I'm just waiting for the sunscreen to completely dry on my skin. Then I'm gonna spray myself down with uh, some bug spray and I will get on going. All right. Well, I'm at what I'm going to call the trailhead versus where my car was. And versus what the map told me over that way behind my shoulder is the direction to the pines campground that i backpacked to last summer and the map should take me back this way you can see there's a car stuck in a mud ditch back that way but that's the way i am going to go hopefully it's the right direction that's what the map tends to show and when it's all over with i should actually come out over there so with that said, let's move on. Okay, already one of my biggest issues with this is gonna be the potential for ticks. If you could see, the grass can get pretty high as a result leaving it could lead to ticks all over which is why I gave myself a very fair amount of spray 
for uh, bug spray. Hopefully it will keep them off of me and I won't end up with any ticks. All right, yeah, so I'll just keep on walking. It does appear that this is the trail. Man, look how high this grass is. So hopefully I don't see any snakes. It's the kind of wildlife I don't like. All right, all right. Well, as you may have been able to figure from some of the footage so far, <coughs> this trail is a shared horse trail. So lots of horse droppings along the way, a lot of areas of mud where they have basically made holes with their hooves. <coughs> yeah. I still think it'll be good. Maybe I'll see some horse as I walk along the trail. Maybe you'll be able to get some footage of it. Um, you know, it's like 81 degrees out here right now, so it's supposed to be pretty warm. And this isn't going to be the hottest portion of the day. I mean, I know in other parts of the country it's definitely a lot hotter. <coughs> mm, something's in my throat. And, uh, but... Yeah, try try ha hiking out in it, and then make comments. You know, you gotta really appreciate getting out on the trail occasionally. It's just really relaxing, at least for me it is. But if you, even if it's just a local trail of a mile or so, you should just get out and do it occasionally. You know. Well, a while back there at the intersection at the uh, road, I actually saw a sign talking about seasonal flooding for this path. Well, guess what? Lots of seasonal flooding. And there was a detour, but I'm not quite sure about the detour. I mean, luckily these are waterproof boots to an extent. I don't know how waterproof they're going to be standing in a half a foot of water, though. Might have to go back and check. Huh. As I just explained, I had been traveling from here, going around. Then I got to about there and realized that the trail was flooded. So I had to turn around. And the route required me to go down Baldwin Road until I reached this trail here. It looks like this is the alternate route. So I will take it and see where it leads. Well, as you can see, yep, that was the detour. I am back on trail. I'm averaging somewhere between 13 and 15 minute miles. My plan was to do on average about three, three miles per hour, which I'm staying on course for. And I was expecting this to take maybe three and a half hours total at that pace. So right now it's 2.33 and I am a mile in 1.33 miles into it out of 11 miles. So I'll just keep on the trail. The bugs 
are out in full force today. If I stop, I literally turn into a blood bank. They will be all over me. So apparently, whew, if I don't fall down first, I just keep trugging along or else I become a meal for a bunch of mosquitoes. Whew, look at that. A lot of horse traffic. Yeah. I'm approaching what all trails called the trailhead for this trail. I passed right by it on the road here, but it's just a gravel road, as you'll see, down both sides. Nowhere to actually park. That's why I changed the trailhead to where it was at. And like I was saying earlier, mosquitoes, the bugs, they are just unrelenting. If it wasn't for the bugs, Larry, I'd be in trouble. A guy I passed along the way, he actually had a net over his head. That may not have been a bad idea for me. I mean, they are bad. I'm expecting a few bites before this trip is over. Huh. Oh, by the way, I got thinking in all these different moments of me being a talking head. I don't think I ever mentioned what All Trails was calling this particular trail. It's made mostly up of the Waterloo Panikini Trail, but apparently it has other trails that make it a loop and they have called it the Grass Lake Loop Trail, which may explain why there are so many mosquitoes around. Well, that in the fact, there has been a lot of rain and a lot of drying here, which has been bringing up the mosquitoes. Unbelievably. Whew. I mean, I do like, so far I do like this trail. All trails classifies it as a moderate level trail. It might be being a little kind, it's not really, from what I can tell so far, all that difficult. I mean, if it wasn't for the heat and the mosquitoes, I probably wouldn't be having any issue with it whatsoever. But, well, I am. And I kind of knew this was going to be coming, and I decided to do it anyways, because I just needed to get back out here again. Besides, where in the city do you actually get to see stuff like this, huh? I... I recognize a lot of these trees when I was back in forestry. A ton of sugar maple out here. Um, some red maple as well. So I've seen some black cherry, some hickories. Yeah. And a wide variety of other shrubs that most of them I can't remember the names of anymore. I mean, my professor who taught me tree ID is probably so disappointed in me. As you can see on the sign, I've been on the Waterloo Panicadie Trail, which I believe still continues off this way. I'll be actually heading up this way and coming around here, up past there and coming back. Oh, if you guys saw that around here, Coming back, if memory serves correct from what I can see on the sign, and if I, if I live through the mosquitoes.
Well, I have hit about the halfway point of the trail. I'm considering taking an off trail to um, drop about two to three extra miles. I'd still end up with a total of about an eight mile trail before it's over with. I haven't made up my mind yet, but right now that I'm on this road and it's dry, it's pretty, uh, pretty mosquito free, but, um, but if it stays as bad as it's been, I'm probably going to end up taking that, that off trail and make my time a little quicker, but I'll cross that bro bridge when I get to it. Look at that. Nice artifi artificial waterfall. That is outstanding. Yeah, that was um, that is unbelievable. The work mu that must have been put in to make that. Wow, I can't even imagine. Whew. Gotta give them their props. That is just outstanding in such a agricultural type area. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm gotten off the road and I'm back into the forest. And what do you know? Immediately the bugs start coming. We'll see how this stays. If that if it continues this way, I think I'm definitely going to be taking the shortcut to get done a little bit quicker than I would have otherwise. I've already done just over six miles. So I'm willing to bet the rest of that trip, even after the shortcut is with the shortcut, is probably about another two miles. So yeah, I should easily get about eight miles out of it if I do that. It's not that I'm not enjoying it. I'm just not enjoying the bugs. The mosquitoes are a plague right now. That is how thick they are. It's making me wish I was walking around with a big bug, bug net over the top of me. If this is a camping trip, I'd be living in my tent at this moment in time. Okay, well, I have reached the point where I have to make a decision. I've made it. The mosquitoes are vicious. I'm fighting them off right now. I am currently right here at 17. The plan was to come around here, go around, come back to a point. But instead, I'm taking a shortcut. I'm going straight to 24, coming around and going at. I've already got, like I said, over six miles. I'm sure that's probably about another two. So I should be good to go. With that, I am getting, I'm getting a move on so I can get away from mosquitoes. Well, 
I decided to take a detour since I was running low on water and headed to the horse stables where I knew I could fill up. If you recall from my Panikini, <laughs> my Panikini uh, backpacking trip, I came here and the water was absolutely terrible. I mean, I might have been able to make it without the water, but my motto is better to get it and not need it than need it and not get it. So, and there are horses in the background. Huh. Very nice. Well, I made it to the Pines parking lot, or Pines camp spot there I did on my backpacking trip. I'm not gonna go in very far though because there are actual people here and I'm not. But yeah, made it, made it back. It's great to be here. Almost finished on my way out. Probably maybe a mile, mile and a half left to go and I'll be back to the car. So let's get a move on. You know, I got thinking about much earlier on the trail and I wanted to give a shout out to my boots for when I was in that water, just dawned on me that I was literally up to my ankles in water and my socks did not get wet. They stayed perfectly dry. So I want to give a little golf clap to my boots. Seems kind of like a weird weird interruption, but they deserve the applause. Thank you, boots. Well, I've made it back. You can see I'm at the car. The total trip was just over, or just under 10 miles. It's a good trip, other than the mosquitoes, which were a pain in the butt. But with that, I am going to head on home, get showered up, look, check myself out for ticks, and call it a day. Until the next time. Bye.